In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to start a blog and get paid. Hi, my name is Mac from marketingwithmac.com, where we go over tips and strategies on how to turn your website into a money-making machine. Okay, so let's talk about the first thing. So you want to really have a passion before you get started. So this could be maybe baking, it could be uh, weightlifting, it could be dieting, it could be cooking. So you do need to have a passion, something that you really, really love doing. Because if you are going to be creating videos or writing about it, it needs to be something that's not forced or that you're forcing out of yourself because that will show. It has to be something you're passionate about. Now, it's not just passion that we're after here. We also need to make sure that whatever passion you have has a demand. So it can't be a passion where no one is talking about it online and it's, it's one of those uh, weird things that uh, no one really searches for. So it has to be a passion where there's products around it, there's groups around it on Facebook, on social media, and also there's a demand for it. Because the idea with this passion is to... Uh, find affiliates or even talk about it that you get so much traffic that you can monetize that traffic. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So once you've found that passion, uh, you've got a whole list of uh, things to talk, to talk about, you can start making a few notes on ideas of what you can talk about in regards to that passion. Now, while we're on that topic of uh, passion, I also need to point out that it is very, very important that you do a lot of research around this passion so you have a lot of things to talk about. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. So now that you have your passion sorted out, it's in place. The next stage now is to have a very good website. So that also starts with a very strong foundation when it comes to hosting. Now, there are several companies out there that offer web hosting services and I've used, I've tried quite a lot of them as well in the past. But one of the most important thing that you need to be aware of when you choose a web hosting company is support. Because if you're just new in, uh, into web design using WordPress, support is going to be key. Because if something goes wrong with your website, it's going to be very difficult for you to, to start troubleshooting everything yourself. So having a very good support team will be ideal in you moving forward. In fact, let me share with you what happened over the weekend. Now, if you've been visiting my website, the URL used to be wpusertv.com. So I've just changed that to marketingwithmac.com. So what I did is I pointed my domain from wpusertv to marketingwithmac.com. Everything seemed okay, but uh, after a few hours, I had emails coming to me saying, well, I can't access uh, information on your website, specifically the course that people had signed up to. I have a free WordPress course, uh, which by the way, you can uh, go ahead and sign up for free. There's no strings attached. The link is in the description below. Just go and sign up for that course. It's called WordPress Mastery. Now this course as well is ideal because it will help you with your website. Okay, so back to the topic here. So what happened is when I uh, redirected everything, I thought everything was working fine until I started getting all these um, uh, complaints. So I looked into it and I noticed that, yeah, the links to the courses or the lessons on my website were not working. So what I did was I uh, got in touch with um, InMotion Hosting and they were able to do what is known as a search and replace. So there was something happening in the database where the links were still attached to the old domain, WP User TV. So this issue was, was um, resolved in less than an hour. And to be honest, if I was to do this myself, bearing in mind that I don't know anything about databases and where I would start, I mean, it would take me maybe days for me to resolve this. But this was, uh, was resolved within an hour. So this is why I emphasize that hosting is very important. You have to make sure you choose the right hosting. And by the way, if you want to use the hosting that I use, I will leave the link to that in the description below. And also there's a 50% discount if you sign up with that link. And not only that, so if you sign up today, you have access to 
Photoshop for web designers. This is a course which teaches you how to create graphics for your website. The second course is Divi Blueprint 3. This is a page builder course which will show you how to work with Divi and uh, how to find your way around and design awesome looking websites. And then finally, I have uh, the WordPress mastery course and then this one is free as well. So I'll give you access to that and also future upcoming courses. Okay, so now that we've talked about the uh, hosting plan and why it's important, the next stage now is a page builder because bear in mind when you design your websites using WordPress, it's just basic. You know, there isn't much that you can do in terms of implementing colors, implementing layouts. This would, uh, this would mean uh, getting uh, someone or a programmer to do it for you in order for you to achieve that. So that falls under web development. Now, there's a workaround. And even I actually use this strategy that I'm about to share with you. So if you're not a programmer and you don't want to spend time learning how to code your website and all of that, you can use page builders. So what page builders do is these are plugins that you install on top of WordPress and then these allow you to design custom made websites. You can design pretty much any type of layout. In fact, majority of uh, those websites you see out there that are beautiful with different layouts, pretty much they're using a page builder because it gives you that flexibility of designing any type of website you want. So the page builder that I use is Divi. It allows me to design my websites while I can see exactly what is happening on the page and where everything is. So this is the main reason why I love using Divi. And again, I have a link to that in the description below. Okay, so let's move on to the next stage. And this stage now is content creation. Now, this stage is very, very important because this content that you're going to be creating is what people are going to be reading or if it's videos, people will be watching those videos where you'll be pointing them to your affiliate links and this is how you start making money with your website. So there's three ways you can create your content. So firstly, you can do written. So there's a lot of people still out there that, are, that prefer reading. And then there's also audio. So you can create podcasts. In those podcasts, you can actually talk about your affiliate links or your promotions or anything that you want to promote. And my favorite one is video. So as you can see, um, I do a lot of videos on YouTube. And again, this is where I also mention my affiliate links. And this is exactly what I've been doing in this video. So this is how you want to do it. So these three options are quite easy to do. So whatever uh, method that you prefer creating content, it is there for you. So you can either go for written, you can go for um, uh, audio, and you can also go for video. Now, I find video more responsive because there's a lot of people that watch uh, videos nowadays. In fact, if you look at YouTube, it's a second largest search engine. So that's where I prefer putting my content. But there's a lot of successful people out there that, that also make millions of uh, pounds using podcasts or even written articles. Okay, so now that you've uh, got your content in place, we need to get people to read it. We need to get people to see these videos. We need to get people to hear what we're talking about in our podcast. So this is where social media comes in. So what you want to do now is to go to social media platforms like Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and uh, all those places, and then start driving people to your website. So when you drive people to your website, this gives you the ability now to get people to your mailing list. And this mailing list is great because later on, you can also market to these people on your mailing list. So this creates your tribe, which are passionate about your passion, and uh, it makes it easier for you to communicate with them. And the software that I use for that as well is ConvertKit. It's very, very good. It's, it's uh, user-friendly, and I also have a link to that. So this is one thing that you want to make sure you have right in the get go. So the things that I'm talking about in this video, I do the exact same steps. So first of all, I have a passion on online marketing and web design. So that's my main passion. Yes, there's a demand for it. And there's a lot of products that I can promote. For example, affiliate products, email marketing products, plugins. So there's quite a lot there that I can promote. Okay, so the next stage is the hosting. I have a very solid hosting company, which I've already spoken about. And then when it comes to the page builder, I use Divi. That's my favorite one. And and then when it comes to content, I create content on YouTube, right? So as you can see, these are the list of things that I'm also doing that I'm suggesting that you should do in this tutorial, right? When it comes to products that I promote, I promote MemberPress. I also promote LearnDash, Divi, and InMotion Hosting. So these are the companies that I promote that make me passive income on my blog. 
Okay, and finally for traffic, at the moment, I'm just getting free traffic from YouTube and uh, Facebook, but I'm also learning how to do paid traffic. So that's something that I may be talking about in the future. So that's all I have for you. These are the things that can help you create a blog which can make you money. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow me on my social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. See you in the next video.